it has been a great uh, ESMO breast conference and it was also my first ESMO breast after the pandemic, uh, finally in person. So it was really exciting to be here and there have been really, they have been presented the really interesting results, uh, fascinating results. I think that the, the highlight to me, uh, there have been uh, some presentation really interesting about the, the activities of uh, new a uh, ADCs, antibody, antibody drugs conjugates, ac across different subtypes actually of breast cancer, hormone receptor positive, HER2 positive, of course, and also triple negative. And uh, all this presentation, um, like the TOTER3 and uh, the Tuxedo trial, um, demonstrated that those type of uh, drugs are extremely active in breast cancer. The, the results are really promising. So I think that uh, we we are going to hear a lot about uh, these studies and uh, these drugs in the next future. Then, of course, the, the results, uh, the updated results of the Mona Lisa three trial were outstanding with the updated overall survival of s almost 71 months with the association of uh, ribocyclib with the falvestrant. And they, they were expected, but still outstanding, outstanding. And I think also the results of the PADA1 trial were uh, really interesting, showing you know, the, the role of, um, of a liquid biopsy in, uh, in the setting of um, hormone receptor positive metastatic breast cancer and showing the, role, the pronostic role of progesterone in this setting.